What's up YouTube? Today's video is how to get your R56 Mini Cooper S to stage 3 with the RPM stage 3 tune. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stick around. You're going to want to watch this whole video. First I want to mention my Facebook group. It's called Mini Cooper DIY. If you drive a Mini Cooper, whether it's stage 3 or not, you're going to want to join this group. It's, the, it's one of the fastest growing Facebook groups for Mini Coopers right now. For anybody who works on their own Mini Cooper, whether you're a novice or an expert, you could use your, you know, ask questions. People are in there that are gonna answer them. And uh, if you're a knowledgeable guy, uh, we could use your answers as well. So check it out. It's called Mini Cooper DIY. I'll leave a link to it in the description, or you can go on Facebook and type Mini Cooper DIY into the search. So let's get on with the video. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're going for stage three is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your car can handle it. So uh, I have a video, it's called 11 ways to make sure your R56 Mini Cooper S is reliable. Uh, I'll link to that in the description. But also on top of that, do a compression test, make sure your compression's good and do a leak down test if your compression is not good and see why your compression isn't good and fix the issue. And Cause you wanna you want have a solid running motor before you go stage three. Mine's been really reliable. Uh, I've been stage three for I don't know, eight or nine months and I haven't had any issues, but I do all my maintenance. You can see from the videos that I post of all the stuff I do and, and it's great. Okay, the first uh, requirement that you're gonna need is you're gonna need well, two things. You're gonna need a bigger, well, you need more than two things, but I'm gonna list them in order. You're gonna need a bigger intercooler uh, the one I have is it's not it was pretty cheap actually it's the G plus that you can order on Amazon if I can find it on Amazon I'll link to it in the description if not uh, you know just find an intercooler that's bigger than stock you'll you'll be able to go stage three it might not be as good as uh, you know a Forge or, or um, all the other all the other ones that they sell um, Helix I'm not gonna name all intercoolers it might not be as good as those but it's absolutely gonna be better than your OEM one. And it's definitely good enough to go stage three. So first thing you need to do is upgrade your intercooler. And uh, once you upgrade your intercooler, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is upgrade your downpipe. You need to be a, you need to be catalyst. You have to have a catalyst downpipe. What I have is, uh, since you're going to RPM stage three, when you're ordering all the stuff from RDO, from RDO, order his downpipe, that's what I did. You could probably get away with a cheaper one, but uh, the one that he makes is, it's nice. It's a piece of work. When you look at it, the welds are just really, really nice. Um, as basic as an R56 downpipe is. I actually showed it to people when I got it, and they're like, oh my god, it's, that thing's nice. It's it's the welds that put it on. It's a really quality piece of work. And then uh, after the downpipe, you're gonna, you are know, I mean, you need to be catless all the way back. So you don't have to do a whole cat back. Well, not cat back, but a whole exhaust from your downpipe back, you can just do the cat delete and be fine. I have a resonator. I have the, um, I can't even remember the name of my exhaust right now, but uh, I'll think of it in a second and I'll put it on the screen. But uh, hold on a second. All right, I had to go look. It's an NVIDIA Q300. It's actually pretty cheap exhaust. Um, I don't know if you can get that uh, on Amazon or not, but uh, I think I ordered... I ordered mine somewhere, uh, maybe it was eBay. Um, but yeah, it's an NVIDIA Q300 for R56. Uh, it sounds really good, but like I said, you don't need to do that. You can run your stock muffler. If you wanna be a sleeper, run your stock muffler. If you have a, or if you have a JCW, run the JCW muffler. And uh, I still have, mine, this is a resonated exhaust, so it's not that loud. People have actually commented on how quiet my car is for how much work is done to it. And it's, you know, it's relatively fast. For what it is, for being a front-wheel drive Mini Cooper, you know, 1.6 liter, it's pretty fast. So yeah, you'll need a you'll need to do your intercooler exhaust. Uh, your, your, you know, get rid of both of your cats, and then uh, obviously you need a, a bigger turbo. Um, I have a JCW turbo on mine. Um, you, that's I think that's the smallest turbo that you can have in a B Stage Three. Uh, Mario actually makes one. It's a 43 millimeter, 4356. Uh, 43, I think, is the the cold side, and 53 might be the impeller. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it's a, it's a fast spooling. A lot of autocross guys use it. It's quite a
quite a bit bigger than the turbo I have. I think it's good for 30 more horsepower, uh, is what I think uh, Mario said, than the JCW turbo. And he quotes you at about 250 to the wheels. So you're gonna have about, I mean, it's not gonna be exact. You might have 240, 250 to the wheels with a, with a JCW turbo and a stage three. But with his turbo, I think you'll have 280 or 285 or something like that. So, or you can go bigger. You can go bigger. You can get, you know, closer to 300 horsepower if you if you really want to push it. But I wanted a quick spooling turbo, so I went the JCW. And then the last requirement that you you absolutely need is uh, you're going to need one step colder spark plugs. Mario sells those too. Uh, or whoever you're going through. I don't know if you're going through Mario Palza. You might be going through, you know, somebody else from RPM. But uh, Mario Palza is who I went through. But uh, whoever your tuner is, ask your tuner to supply you with spark plugs. And you'll know you'll have the right spark plugs for the turbo and the tune that you're running. And that's the way, that's the best way to do it. I'm not, uh, you know, I would like to just leave, oh, I'll leave your link in the description. But what if I link you, what if you do a different turbo? What if you need two-step colder for your setup? I don't know. So, uh, yeah get your spark plugs or at least ask your tuner which spark plugs you need and order those but yeah you definitely need one step colder or maybe sometimes maybe even two step colder spark plugs okay and the last thing that you need for you know mandatory requirement you need to be stage three is obviously your tune you go through mario or go, you go through anybody but uh i went through mario you can do a remote tune that's what i did i have a video on how to do a remote tune um, you need to buy the thing, to do, the stuff to do it with. Ask Mario about that. Um, in fact, if you look at the thumbnail for this video, the box is in the video or in that thumbnail that I used. But yeah, you need a, a tune from RPM if you're going to do the RPM Stage Three. I can't really me recommend anybody else because RPM is who I use, and I can't recommend anyone other than Mario because Mario is who I use. I don't have experience with other people. I do know that a lot of people have had experience with Lorenzo. I don't know his last name. I've uh, only heard people call him Lorenzo. He's out of Canada. Uh, so, you know, I can't recommend him because I don't know him. I've never talked to him. But I would say that enough people have used him that he's probably good. So, yeah, you definitely need that. You need the RPM Stage 3 tune. Okay, as you can see, this video is not over yet. But uh, it's probably, I don't know how much left is, is left because I haven't filmed it yet. But um, that was just the stuff that you absolutely have to have to be stage three it's not that's the requirements you have to have that this other stuff i'm about to list is just stuff that is that i recommend personally um to be stage three and the first thing i'm going to say is going to be upgrade your diverter valve um it's not a power gain on the top end but it's it, mine I, I have the the go fast bits dv plus i have a video on how to install that um there's the Forge blow-off valve, uh, Turbo Smart blow-off valve. There's a bunch of ways you can go, um, but upgrade it. Uh, it's it's a it's a good enough difference that even if you're not going stage three, I would say to upgrade it. it it's a it's something that you you definitely want to do. And you know you don't want something stupid to happen like your blow-off valve, not your blow-off valve, but your diverter valve to be what is keeping you from making power. Maybe it, it's uh, torn or something. It's just upgrade it don't don't replace it with the OEM one upgrade it the next thing I'd recommend is either an aftermarket just what I have I just have the drop-in air filter um, or an aftermarket intake if you want to hear I'm gonna go to an aftermarket in intake eventually I'm gonna do the AEM kit but uh, if you want to hear your blow-off valve and hear all the turbo noises go with the aftermarket cold air intake if you just want you know your car to run good and smooth and not have to buy a new air filter every time you change it just buy a, a re reusable air filter um definitely recommend it that's uh, one of the first things i did to my car even before i knew i was going stage three i, I, just, I just have a cane and drop in but like i said i'm gonna go to the aem soon so watch for that video because i'll do an install when i do it the next thing that i definitely recommend if you're going to be going fast you need to be able to stop so upgrade at least your brake pads um in fact i'm about to be doing a video i'm ordering uh ebc yellow stuff brake pads i'm gonna get them from uh speed tech motorsports 
Oh, he put them, actually he actually put those on his site on his site specific because I asked him for them because because <laughs> he sells the, he was selling the hawk he still he sells the hawk pads, which are a good brand too if you want those. But I I, I want the EVC yellow stuff because um, my car's a daily it's not a track car, uh, so uh, that's the pad I want. I researched it. That's the pad I wanted, so that's what I'm getting. And I asked him said hey, can you get those on your site? And he said oh I have one tonight. Sure enough he did, but. Uh, not only your pads, uh, I, I have steel braided brake lines on my car too. I got those from Way Motor Works. They, they bolt right on. There's, you don't have to do anything. It's the easiest to have a video on how to install those. Super easy. Um, you know, replace your brake fluid. You're gonna need to replace your brake fluid anyway with you know just OEM brake fluid, but you might as well upgrade it to the, uh, the Motol 600 or 660 or, no, uh, racing brake fluid. Um, you know, it handles 660 degrees heat without failing so uh grade your brake fluid grade your brake pads grade your brake lines and uh, if you have the money eventually i'm gonna do it but a uh, big brake kit uh that's not a requirement obviously you could you could do it with uh, with regular s pads and regular s brakes because that's what i have now i did it when i had regular uh brake lines too but uh still braided much nicer and the yellow pa uh, yellow stuff pads are going to be much nicer i can't wait to do it And, you know, also uh, with being able to go fast and being able to stop fast, you need to be able to handle, your car needs to be able to handle good. Uh, at the bare minimum, I would recommend doing the rear sway bar, uh, but I would just start there. I, I can't emphasize this em enough. Do both sway bars. Uh, I have the 27 millimeter in the front solid and a 25.5 hollow in the back, and it's perfect. I can my car will rotate uh, uh, slightly it'll it if I just come barreling into a corner and just hang the corner and don't really do any driving technique I just turn into the corner my car is almost perfectly neutral if I give it if I downshift or, or give it a little bit of brake while I'm in the corner the back end will rotate a little bit but um, and I'm on all, all season tires in fact you can watch my last video I just posted where I do a review on these continental um, extreme content extreme content i say that in the video too extreme contact tact dws06 tires that I, all season tires that i have um they're great tires but uh that's not what this video is about um but yeah you're gonna want to do your sway bars i have uh camera plates made a pretty good difference and eventually i'm gonna do uh coilovers but that's not necessary to be stage three with just the sway bars uh it's that's uh, it's easily for a drivable daily driver, that's enough. But if you want to be more, obviously, do more. And one th another thing I wanted to recommend too, if you're going to go stage three, you get, you know, the the horsepower that Mario will tell you. Okay, it's I think it's two fifty. Well, it's two fifty with the JCW turbo, and I think it's up to like two eighty five or something with the other turbos. Or you can do the stage three with a methanol kit. Well, methanol, I believe, if you tune for the methanol, you can do methanol two ways. You can just install the kit and be okay, I have cooler intake temperatures, cool. And don't have to tune for it. You'll have cool, you'll have the power from having cooler intake temperatures. And you'll have, you'll have higher octane, but you're not tuned for it. So it's not that big of a issue, not big of a gain. Or you can tune for it. I believe I'm not sure. I'm not going to say the price, how much it is, because he might change his prices. He might make it. Might be cheaper. Or it might be more. But uh, you can tune for it, and I believe you'll have to ask him. But I believe it's 40 more horsepower if you're running methanol injection. So you know, 40 horsepower. You know, that'd put me around 2 280, 290 with the JCW turbo. I don't know if the JCW turbo can handle that much horsepower, but. Uh, you know, I could max out this JCW turbo with stock cams and stuff like that. I mean, my car is already decently fast. If I do the methanol, it'll be pretty crazy, but, uh, and I'm going to do it. Speed Tech Motorsports, again, actually, not only do they sell a methanol kit, I'll, I'm linking to Speed Tech in the description. I link to them in a lot of my description because I'm actually friends with the guy. Uh, well, I talk to him on Instagram and Facebook because he lives in New York and I live in California, but, uh, because I believe he lives in New York. But, uh, yeah, not only does he sell the snow, I think it's snow performance 
I'm not sure the brand that he sells, but it's it's called Stage Two, is is what it is. Um, but also, he he actually developed. I don't know if he did it himself, but he had it developed a direct injection kit for methanol. So you buy your regular methanol kit that you're gonna buy, and then on top of that, you have direct injection. And I and you have to ask him. Uh, he's a cool guy. If you message him on Speed Tech Motorsports, you message him on Instagram or Facebook. He'll, he'll talk to you. Um, or you could probably even go to his website and email him and ask him about the direct injection kit, and he'll tell you. Because I mean, obviously, he wants to sell to you. He's gonna tell you how it works. But uh, I believe the way he has his set up on his car, because he has a he also has an R56 with the N14 in it, uh, stage three, same Mario Pauls tuned it, got all this stuff that I just mentioned, and more. His car is awesome but uh i believe it's four psi he starts spraying into the you know the one injector into the the intake tube and then uh i want to say 11 maybe it's 17 i think it might be 17 psi it does sprays the the direct injection into the right it's a it's a plate between the intake manifold and the head and uh, so it's not spraying directly all the time. It's only when you're at high boost. And I'm not sure, 100% sure, but I think you can set where where you spray it at. And uh, that's the that's just the way to go. Uh, it's going to be way safer. It's going to keep your intake valves clean. You're not going to have to run a catch can. Um, it's just going to. There's no bad sides to it. Also, this is a, I'm not sure if this would be considered stage three or not, but Speed Tech Motorsports, I talked to him on Instagram about this the other day and uh, I told him I'd mention this. He has a kit that he's developing right now. It's a, it's a header, not a header, it's a manifold, exhaust manifold for a turbo, but it's a 500 horsepower kit. And uh, I don't know who Ollie has going through it. If you go to his Facebook page, it's Speed Tech, Speed Tech Motorsports Inc. On Facebook go to his Facebook page you can see pictures he posts stuff on there and on his Instagram he's speed tech motorsports on Instagram go check him out um, he, he posts pictures on it. it's it's crazy looking and you know 500 horsepower in this car would just be insane obviously you're gonna want to build your bottom end for that um, he sells everything for that too but yeah I said I'd mention that so, <laughs> so I'm mentioning it I also, I should mention, not only does he sell the header, it's not just the header, he also sells the big turbo for it. It's a, it's a much bigger turbo that can handle the 500 horsepower, and it comes with the downpipe, it's, it's the whole thing. It's, it's going to be a bolt-on kit that you're definitely going to need to tune for. Like I said earlier, if you drive any Mini Cooper you drive, join my Facebook group. It's Mini Cooper DIY. Don't forget, there's a link in the description. Um, or like I said earlier too, you can go to Facebook and just type it in the, the search bar. Uh, Mini Cooper DIY. It's an amazing group. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscri uh, subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. And if you have anything else to add, add it in the comments below. I'd really like to hear what you have to add. Um, especially when it comes to performance mods. I'm sure everybody watching this video would want to hear what you have to add too. Because that's why everybody's here. They're here for performance. So let's hear it. So uh, I'll catch you in the next video.